Hey guys, it's me, Allison. I did not get a haircut, if you think I got a haircut. But I am gonna get my haircut this year. See, as you can see, it's like, it's up. But it's falling apart, I got home from work. So, um, sorry, let me turn this off. We can suffer for a little bit. So today's video, so I'm like, my vicinity is kind of struggling right now. But today I'm going to be talking to you guys, in my opinion, and probably most of you guys who have dystonia opinion too, I guess, I don't know. But I'm just going to just go straight for it. It was just me, I just... So, when we're in pain, number one. When we're in pain, and dystonia has some kind of, it's a, it's a, it's a hard to describe, to describe pain. It's not like a growing pain. It's just like a spasm pain. I guess that works. I don't know. Um, and people, most people who have not experienced dystonia will be like, just walk it off. You'll be fine. Take some ibuprofen. But you're like, but you don't really know exactly how it's like living with dystonia. Like for me, for instance, it was really hard to be like, to get a new life, you know, because eight and under, you know, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Um, my life had no dystonia in it. No family members of mine had dystonia. And then I got dystonia when I was eight years old, but I didn't get diagnosed until I was eight and a half. No, nine and a half-ish. And um, still nobody knows. They think that I got dystonia because I had a seizure when I was 18 months old, but the doctors still have no idea. I mean, they know I have dystonia, but they don't know the cause. And that is dystonia. You may not know what the cause is. I think number two, and I don't know if everybody is like this with dystonia, but when people see you and they're like, oh, do you need help with getting something off the shelf or cooking or whatever it is and you want to you say no and then like oh you do need help I know you can't need help and they're like no I think I got this because people with dystonia pretty much do their own ways like it doesn't have to be like how this person does it, as long as you do it, and you do it efficiently, then it's fine, right? Um, I think we all learn from dystonia, regardless if you don't have dystonia, but you know someone who has it, or you have dystonia, you learn from it, like you know what to do if their dystonia acts up, or you just, you know the signs or something like that. Like, it's hard <laughs> living with dystonia sometimes. You just feel like you're alone. You just feel like nobody knows what you're going through. But I tell myself, if I'm going down that road, I tell myself, there is someone out there that knows. There is someone that knows. And that's why every single day I try to spread awareness, which is really cool. Um, what I do to spread awareness, somehow I try to be sneaky. So I get a lot of these, the, the Estonia awareness cards or stickers from the Estonia Medical Research Foundation.com. <laughs> and I pretty much put them all over the mall or 
wherever whatever store I'm at I'll put them in random spots I think it, it's really fun and definitely shows them right now I if you guys ever like I created a dystonia life originally to show awareness and show just positive and negative about dystonia just anything and everything about dystonia and though however I have not like experienced everything about dystonia like I don't have it in my neck sometimes my head does shake like like that but that was just me doing it for an example it does do that or it's mostly in my left side of my body and the correct term is that for that is hemi dystonia so I'm just trying to spread awareness as much as I possibly can right now because it's not fun living with the sun. Trust me. Trust us. We are, I like to say on my channel, we are warriors. So please be a warrior. That's, the, that's why I created A Dystonia Life to show awareness. So we are dystonia warriors and we will always be dystonia warriors so thank you guys so much for watching this rambled video if you guys want to see more about my dystonia i will i want to do a walking video but i need to figure that out <laughs> all right bye guys have a great day remember we will not let Dystonia take over. Bye, guys.